Hey everyone and welcome to today's episode of Gifted TV. Today is all about learning in the womb. And the question we are looking to answer today is, is it possible for babies to learn while they are still in the mother's womb? Is that even a realistic thought? How much can babies learn? And how is the best way for babies to learn while they're in the womb? Now the research we found shows that at 9 to 10 weeks, babies actually start having connections in the brain. And what happens with these connections is over time, they become stronger and stronger the more they're used. So the more a baby sees the letter A, the easier it'll be for that baby to remember what the letter A is. Later on, it'll be able to recall the letter A plus the sound that the letter A makes, then words that start with the letter A, and so on and so on. A baby can't see in the womb. There's nothing to touch in the womb. So obviously, the only real logical way to do this is through sound. And that's why we've heard over and over again of women walking around with classical music headphones over their belly, and I was one of those moms. I know a lot of other friends of mine that have done the same thing, but it's for a reason. The studies are showing that listening to music actually rewires the brain and helps grow more gray matter. And what that is responsible for is basically information processing. So basically, you're giving your baby a bigger brain <laughs> by listening to music. Now I added to that, and I also used things like Japanese flutes, Native American sounds. I used a lot of Spanish lullabies and Spanish songs because one of my goals was to have my kids become bilingual at an early age. I wanted them to learn English, and I also wanted them to learn Spanish. So I thought by playing a lot of music in Spanish, it couldn't help but give them a head start. Well, one of the things I did is I talked to Maddie. Maddie was my first baby, and I was actually in college when I was pregnant with her. So what I would do is I would read my coursework aloud to her. So when I was studying for a biology exam or physics, whatever the course matter was, I would actually read the chapters aloud to myself, and I would have a conversation with her about biology. I would say, I don't understand this. Isn't this strange? What do you think about Darwin? You know, whatever the topic was that would come up, I would actually have a conversation with her the words and vocabulary I use when studying subjects in college courses is far different from my normal everyday vocabulary. So now I was exposing her to words, sentence structures, and thought processes that were far different from my normal routine and everyday language. So by using these few techniques, listening to sounds, listening to different languages, talking to your baby in a different context than your face, all helps to strengthen the neuron connections in the brain. And these connections last far after the baby's born and into their adult lives. The good news about this technique is it's so simple to implement. You can just buy headphones, a Walkman, iPod, put it over your belly, and there you go. Walk around with it playing for a little while. I wouldn't recommend overstimulating the baby, but an hour or two a day would be perfect. Now the baby is exposed to things other than the normal sounds of your everyday life. So, thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of Gifted TV. We look forward to seeing you in the future, and we also would love to hear your feedback or your stories. Maybe you have something we can feature on a future Gifted TV show. So, visit us at our blog, and we look forward to seeing you on our next episode.